Yo, what up traders? Got a red day, red day. Uh, this week, I didn't trade Monday, was green Tuesday, red Wednesday, green Thursday, and I'm red Friday, which is today. So it's a little bit of progress from last week. I had three red days in a row. This week, all my losses were very controlled. None of them was under $100 net PL. So it was it was good. It was a good week for me. It was a it was a, a, an improvement. Even though I got a red day and a red, maybe a red week is an improvement in my trading. So let's get into it. First trade that I took this morning was a pre-market trade. I wish I didn't take the trade, but it was an opportunity there. I took the trade, but yeah, that, that was a bad trade. You can't really, I didn't capture it. For some reason, my, my trades didn't capture or I must have edited it out. But I bought here, over here. I bought it at like, I think like 11.09 or something like that. And I stopped out at, 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 um, at 11, 11.01. So right now I'm down 32 bucks. I'm down negative 32 bucks, and I'm gonna actually nail some trades. That just to open, I'm gonna, I'm gonna nail some trades, and I'm gonna get down to about negative six dollars on a day. And that that should have been like that should have been a wrap. But the whole time I'm thinking, man, one more trade I can get green. One more trade I can get green. When that negative six dollars should have just been a green day. Even though it was red, that should have been a. I should have like I should have just made that a green day in my mind. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes red days, small red days or red days are just good just to have a red day and just start over. Like, don't keep trading it. Don't keep trading. Like, if, you, if you're if you red in your first couple of trades, you, that's how it's going to be for the rest of the day. At least in my case, it's like, I'm not, I wasn't on point. I wasn't in the zone. So, anyway, jumped in there at 768. And, like, this is not even the good stocks. Like, this is not even the stock that I usually play. I don't play gap downs, like. It, actually, the stock hasn't gapped down. You got this big old red candle. It, it just, I don't know who dumped them. Guy wasn't part of that. But I don't play stocks that's red on the day. Like this red, this stock is down negative 20%. So I'm forcing trades. I traded a stock that was red on the day. So, yeah. It wasn't red pre market, but now it's red negative 20%. I'm going to get it. This is going to be a winning trade. But it just shows you where my mindset is at. It's, it's, not, it's not on point. I'm, I'm trading a, a bad stock. So I, I, all I traded today was 300 shares. I did trade. I didn't trade 500 shares today. Trade was 300. So it was Friday. I wanted to keep it light, and I, and then really that's like a contradiction because I I kept going in. Like if I would have kept it light, I just took that negative six dollar loss. So anyway, I just took it off right there. I'm glad. I, I was very quick. I made seven cents there. Now I'm down only 17 bucks. I was just down 32 bucks. Now I'm down 17 bucks off that one trade. Second trade BFRI. I think, though, this stock is going to kill me. One of these stocks, I'm going to lose a lot on. So, BFRI got a nice little setup. I'm, I'm, a lot of my trades, I did take off the one minute today. Like, this is a nice setup on the one minute. Good volume bar. A little breakdown. I'm going I'm to take a trade off this. I'm, I'm going to get in late, but I'm going to take a trade. It, it like, this, this right here was like a, this was an okay trade. I scalped this, but this is kind of like a forced trade, too. Look at the tape. The tape is in. That's what it was like. All day to take has been sporadic like this. So every other second, some somebody will print. So that's a sign too that that's a stock that I shouldn't be trading. Like look at the tape; it's paused right now. The tape is the tape was paused, man, for like three seconds or something like that. That could have been my internet, but I don't think it was. So I got that four ninety six. Try to get a pop back over five. Like that's why this wasn't a good trade, a uh, good trade because the range is there's no range right now. That the the resistance at this this current channel is at 502. I'm in at at 496, so I'm in the middle. I gotta stop taking trades in the middle. Like either take a trade down here at the 482 level. If I'm gonna long it, if I'm gonna short it, short up here. But like I'm just I trade I took a trade in the middle and I you know I got lucky and it, and it went up in my favor. But I gotta like next week I gotta just be more patient. And then when I got that six dollars back, like I was patient, man. Like that's why I should have just just take that, that negative six dollars and just ran with it, man. Cause I, I did some good trades to get there, man. To get that. So now I'm down only negative twelve dollars and fifty nine cents right now. That, that little trade only made me netted me five dollars. Right. So and then all right. So it's some trades that I did not capture. So this is ten fifteen. I think this trade here. No, no, this ain't the trade. One of these trades I took, I took a loss on, and um, 
it put me down. Hold on, I don't, I can't remember, man. I didn't edit this this right. Let's see what I do here. I think I get in here and I scout this too. Read all the tape. Read all the tape. It's just nothing's really looking like these. These are these aren't good setups here. These aren't good setups. So a lot of forced trades today, man. I, I forced trades today. I wanted to get it. I wanted. I was. I was trying to get like two green days in a row. Like I wanted to see my account start growing. But I just gotta just be patient. And let the trades come to me, man. Today, like when I got down negative six dollars, I started looking for trades. That's a problem. Right? Instead, instead of just chilling, you know, looking at some stocks. Okay, let me wait for this step to come to me. I was like picking. I was going between different stocks, trying to look. Okay, is my setup in this stock? Is my setup in this stock? And. I was it, that, that like that was a bad sign. Like I was just too greedy, man. I was too greedy today. So we get some nice price actually here. Like that little hammers fell, uh, is forming. I'm gonna get in. Jumped in there at five thirty. Jumped in there at five thirty. I'm gonna get, get a little pop. But it's gonna be like a four cent, five cent pop. That's how it's been all day, like for me and my trades today. So. Oh, man, I'm just kind of just just kind of annoyed that I, I kept forcing trades today. Still not there with my psychology. I'm still not there yet. I took that one off real fast. Look at that. I'm down negative six thousand fifty four cents, man. That should be it. That should be. I should. I should be like, you know what? That's a green day. That's like a green day to me. You know, next time that will be. I, I will quit. But I kept wanting to trade. That's like I was kept saying, man. One more trade, I get green, man. One more trade, I can get green. That's what. I, that's what I was thinking. So I started going around trading sorry setups, man. I just wasn't wasn't patient after that. After I saw that little negative, as I saw I was down six dollars, I was like, man, I can get green. <sighs> that sucks. So I'll take a little trade here. Before I want. So anyway, so I didn't um so this so I'm gonna I think I'm gonna take two more trades here. Um I took one trade. It, it was on another stock and it put me down uh Fifty-four dollars. Let me see if this is it. I think this is the stock that puts me down fifty-four dollars on the day. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take like I'm gonna take two more losing trades. Like I over traded. I traded five. I, I traded five times a day. That last trade should be my last trade in the day, man. So don't worry, man. Next week I, I I'll get it right. I'll get it back. I'll get it right. Cause like when I was down at negative six dollars, man, I wasn't even really annoyed the, the day. I was like, you know, yeah, it was six dollars. Now I lost that damn eighty dollars. I'm I was annoyed all damn day today. I was just like, man, I can't believe I did that. See, like this ain't even a good setup, man. Like this is not a good setup. So like I said, this is this is this is not even a, a A plus setup, but B. This is a no setup, and I took a trade on a no setup. Look at the three minute. The volume of the previous candle was lower than this one, so that's an invalid trade for my my strategy and my rules. That's in, it, it, my my uh, strategy is invalid. I shouldn't I should not be taking a trade here. But I'm gonna take a trade here anyway, cause I'm like, man, if I just get like six seven cents, man, and pop, you know, I'd be green. I'm gonna shut it down. That was my plan. I was gonna shut it down. If I got like six seven dollars green, I'll just shut it down. So the level two, everything is looking good on level two, but look at the tape. There's no green prints going through. That is a sign that there is no volume. Sign that there's no volume. Then you got in the one minute that large ass wick at the top. Yeah, this is a dude. This, this was a stupid trade. It was a stupid trade. No V wap. There's nothing there. I, I should be taking a trade at 765. I think I'm gonna get another trade right there, and I'm gonna get dumped on again. See that, that looked a little bullish to me, but. When I was in the moment, that looked a little bullish. Like eight dollars act like it was gonna hold as support. But nope, didn't happen. I think right there, see, I took a trade before, man. Like right now. Like right this trade here's gonna like I, I didn't cash in my last trade, but I took a trade before on the same stock, I think. Now and, and it put I lost like four or five cents and it put me down like fifty four dollars in a day. I should have quit right there. That that would just be my profits I made back yesterday. I went in, I gave some more money back. 
So I still got things I need to work on. I still got things I need to work on. And I'm happy to work on that. You know, I'm just a little annoyed that, you know, this, this was very, this was, this was preventable. This big ass loss, is, this was preventable. You know. I look at the three minute, man. This is not my setup. Look at the one minute. Look at that thick candle, man. I'm going to take a trade off this crap. I took a trade because I saw the little bid prop at 788. But that bid prop came at the wrong time. This is not the right setup for that bid prop. If this candle, if the previous candle on the one minute wasn't this thick, that would look, that would look pretty good. Anyway, I'm in at 794. And, um, yep, gonna get dumped on me. I mean, I ain't get dumped on. I'm gonna cut the loss, but this is a losing trade. Just apologize I didn't capture all of my trades for some reason. Like when I was editing it, when I was editing them, I couldn't even, I didn't see them. So I wanted, I, I don't know, I, didn't, I, I was not trying to hide my trades, but I don't know why I didn't capture all of it. So I took it off right there, man. I lost 10 cents. So now I, I lost $84. So I lost $84 a day, man. $84. This little BFRI trade, that was a little paper trade. Don't even worry about that one. But yeah. So I'm down $84, man, today. So next week. I'll be under eight hundred dollars, but I'm not really worried about it. I, I feel like I can still, you know, make some good trades and get back green. I mean, I'm not really not too too worried about it, but uh, I just I'm just annoyed that I forced trades today. So thank you guys for watching.